Hey, what's up guys? My name is Michael and you're watching Hey, That's Awesome. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is our very first episode ever. We're super excited to be here. And uh, today I'm talking about the Joby Gorilla Pod and is it still the best flexible tripod on the market? And we're gonna compare it to a cheaper option. So first, the Joby Gorilla Pod. Is it awesome? Yes. Now, I will say this channel is not gonna be, is it awesome or is it not awesome? But this thing is a total beast. I'm gonna tell you why in just a second. First, let's talk about cheaper option like this guy. I got both of these from Best Buy. This was 20 bucks, this was 60 bucks. Triple the cost. Compared to like the $10 options on Amazon, it's like six times the cost. A little simple math for you. So, what, what I'll say is 20 bucks, 60 bucks. On Amazon, this thing, link in the comments below, it's $40. Um, if you're at Best Buy, sometimes I like to go there and like see something in person before I buy it online or just go buy it there straight up. Um, they do price match with Amazon. It's not sponsored by Best Buy. It's not sponsored by Joby. It's not sponsored by anybody. It's our first episode, come on. Um, so I will say, if you go to Best Buy and you say, hey, um, this is on Amazon Prime right now for like 40 bucks, you say that to the cashier and they just like give it to you for 40 bucks. Just show them on your iPhone, show them on your, your phone and uh, they'll just give it to you for that much. That's our pro tip for the day. Now, cheaper option, $20, is it worth it? Um, no, it is not worth it. This thing stinks. Compared to the Joby, like if I put any weight on it at all, if you're doing anything other than like just letting it kind of like stand there, um, it's not something that you're gonna wanna be using. If you put a heavier camera like this on it, um, it definitely is not gonna do the trick for you for vlogging, for like sports, for anything. Um, if, you've, if you've tried the like $10 options that are on Amazon right now, um, let me know in the comments below. Uh, I, I had one at one point that was like the $10 option. Um, the joints separated and it's not like super reliable to do much of anything. Um, that's why I'm not reviewing the $10 option. Um, just this, this thing was the closest I could get to it. So if you've tried those, uh, let me know in the comments below. Um, so is this worth it? If you're using it for like very minimal, not daily use, but if you have like a security camera in your house or something, you would want to kind of have this in the corner. Um, it could do that fine. But if you're wanting to use this like on a daily basis and really put it through its paces, it is not the tripod for you. So that's enough about the cheaper option. Let's talk about the Joby Gorilla Pod, not sponsored. Um, first of all, this thing looks and feels amazing. It's very handsome. First one asked to the dance, like it is, it is a legit, like everything you've seen about it, everything you've heard about it, totally like is, it lives up to its name. Um, I think I first saw it like seeing Casey Neistat on his like boosted board, like going through the streets of New York City, like doing that type of thing. And um, like it's, it's perfect for that. If you're going mountain biking, if you're like taking it to your kids, like baseball game, whatever. Um, it's just a really good tripod and it looks good and it feels good. So um, that's the first thing I would say about it. The second thing I would say about this camera is that um, Wherever you put it, it's going to stay in that position. So if you're using it as a tripod, it will stay as a tripod. If you're using it um, as like a vlogging camera, it will it will be it's like perfect for vlogging. Um, if you're like for any 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 type of if you want to put it in tree branches, like it will stay in tree branches. Cut some tree branch B roll. The third thing I would say that I like about this is that it like packs really easily. Like once you take your camera off. Um, you can like throw it in your backpack, throw it on the outside of your backpack, and uh, it, it's just, it will go with you anywhere. So, bottom line is, this thing is, is a well-made machine of a tripod, and I can't recommend it anymore. Link in the comments below. Um, what I don't like about it, there's two things that like could be maybe improved, but um, one is that the swivel head right here, um, it kind of like sticks sometimes once you like you know, unscrew it and kind of want to move it around. So the other gripe that I have is that if you're wanting to like go from like being in a tree branch, like, you know, like this, or being like on your arm, if you ever wanted to like put it on your arm, which you will never need to do. But if you're wanting to like go put it back to tripod mode, it kind of takes some doing. 
to, to get it back to that mode. But other than that, this is a great machine. Buy it. Like, let me know what you think about it. If you have other comments about other tripods, I know there's one that's coming out that was a t Kickstarter campaign. Um, if you want us to review anything else or showcase any other item, um, if you're on the fence about buying something, let us know in the comments below and uh, we will check it out on Hey That's Awesome. Really Thank well. you so much, we'll see you next time. It feels super sturdy in my hand. Um, like even running around, <laughs> it works. <laughs> <laughs>